<coughs> Excuse me. Hello and welcome to another frame of Me 1 versus Me 2 Snooker. The continuing snooker match between Me 1 and Me 2. That are both me, but different versions of me, I guess. If you want to look at it that way. Um, plus, of course, all the latest football scores. Uh, and um, the predictions from Sybil. All that coming up in a packed show tonight. Um, it's frame 138. Me too will be breaking tonight. The score. People on Twitter were asking what the score was. You really have to watch every episode. Please do not watch this unless you've watched every single frame or listened to them from the first few years. Uh, frame 138. It's currently me 161. Me too 69. 69er. The old 69. The ladder. Human ladder with human dick rungs. <coughs> He's got 69. And um, will someone get into the 70s today? If they do, it'll probably be me too. Or will that gap be closed? An eight frame gap. It's starting to look like a walk over, a wash wipe. It's looking like a wash wipe. That's what it's looking like. A lot of people are saying that out in their, on their um, snooker sites. It's looking like a wash wipe. And uh, let's get straight on with the football scores because uh, Liverpool are currently 20 nil up against Man United. Absolutely astonishing scoreline there. Uh, the, I don't think the, I think the match only started a minute ago, so that is absolutely incredible. Doesn't no news on the scorers yet. I guess uh, it's been hard to ascertain. The goals must have been flying in one every two seconds, approximately. Um, so uh, fantastic news for any Liverpool fans. But remember, there are still 89 minutes to go. If you can score 20 minute, 20 goals in a minute. Oh, exact look. Those 20, the VAR must have come in. Just suddenly it's nil-nil. So I don't understand how that... That seems to happen a lot in football, but uh, I must get more into football. Uh, Fulham, who could get promotion tonight if they only need to win and uh, they will guarantee promotion back to the Premier League. Uh, where they will play for one season before being demoted again. Basically, Fulham and Norwich will never play each other in league football due to the fact that they are just on a, uh, a like a seesaw or some kind of pendulum thing, like the things that hang down in clocks that go up and down like that. Is that a pendulum? Probably. Or is that a pendulum? What are the two? What are the things that the weights in a clock? One goes up, the other comes down. Uh, it's like te like a man's testicles. One is up, the other is slightly lower, uh, in order to uh, keep the them from touching and altering each other's temperature. You can read more about that in um, "Can I Have My Ball Back," the fantastic new book by Richard Herring. Um, into League One now, and goals flying in all over the country. Burton Albion, they they got a ball. They just bang, they knocked it in against Rotherham. Bang, guy got it. Bang. Whoa, and it went in. It was amazing. I don't know if you saw it. Cambridge United, Charlton, nil nil. Ipswich, nil. Wigan, nil. I was once sick in Ipswich. Uh, Oxford, nil. Milton Keynes, on my own diary. Uh, Oxford, nil. Milton Keynes, Dons, nil. Um, that's all the people who run mafias in Milton Keynes all got together to play football. They're doing pretty well. Uh, but I guess they do intimidate their opponents. Uh, Sheffield, Wednesday. What are they playing on Tuesday? Uh, nil, crew, Alexandra. Um, why are they, um, no, why aren't they on the Alexandra being the crew? Uh, Scottish Championship, Queen of the South won, Inverness Caledonian, Caledonian Thistle won. The, the old Inverness Caledonian Thistle's there. They got a goal, bang, a guy went boom, knocked it with his head, another guy got it on his foot, went boom, the goalkeeper went ah, but he couldn't reach it, and it was in, and Queen of South similarly, it was a very similar, um, one of them scored first, then the other equalised, uh, Highland League, Fort William 20, Rothers nil, very fantastic score there, um, in the Irish Premiership, Ballymena and United nil, Warren Point Town nil, Carrick Rangers nil, Glenarvan nil, Coleraine 19, Cliftonville 45. I mean, that game started at 7.45, I think, uh, 20 minutes in, and already 64 goals in that match. You have to fancy Cliftonville, but uh, anything could happen. Crusaders nil, Linfield nil. Glen Torren nil, Larn nil, Porterdown nil, and then Dungannon Swiss also nil. So nil nil to everyone apart from Coleraine and Cliftonville, 1945. Uh, the Spanish La Liga, I'm not giving you Mallorca versus Alaves. 
because that uh, is a full time. Real Betis have got nil. Elche have got nil. And Villa Real are 20. And Valencia 30. And that game doesn't even start for 25 minutes. So that's incredible that so many goals have gone in. German DFB Cup. Sa- Hamburg SV0. SC Freiburg 2. I think they're playing Scrabble and partly in that game. Uh, the Italia Coppa Italia. I mean, the Italian Coppa Italia. The Italian Italian Cup. I mean, come on, you don't. Need, that's a tautology. Inter Milan nil, AC Milan nil. It's the Milan derby. Uh, I think uh, Inter Milan should call themselves DC Milan. I think that would make uh, that would be quite funny. Australian A League, that's a result. Danish Super League, that's a result. Dutch Eredivisie, that is a result. We don't do results on this show. Um, so that's all the latest scores. Don't think anything's flown in since. A few guys have got the ball, kind of boom, kicked it, and then the goalkeeper's got one. He's just not edged it over, or it just was missing, or just someone got in the way. Uh, but uh, you know, over the course of ninety minutes, some of those are bound to go in. So uh, keep tuned in, not to us because that's still the football scores we do here. But um, all the fo- that's not so many football scores. York City played uh, yesterday afternoon, and um, you know. Uh, no film club tomorrow, by the way. I mean Thursday. What does she mean? I don't know what she means. My wife's uh, texted me during the game. There's no film club on Thursday. I don't know what film club is. What's film club? Oh, I know. It's what my daughter goes to. Okay, that's fine. That's good news. Right, so um, we don't need to know about that. Look, let's get on with the snooker. Uh, before we do that, let's talk to uh, uh, Sybil, who incorrectly predicted the winner of last week's frame, I believe. Or did she get it right? No, I think she got it wrong. I can't remember. Uh, she's got a couple right, so yeah, that's quite spooky. Here she is. Oh, it's me, Sizzle. Ooh, I, uh, look, they're making time bend. I can't believe it. I exist there. Look at the camera. I exist everywhere in every place. I know all things. Um, okay. Oh, I predicted... That Doris Johnson would still be trying this. Did you? Yeah, I didn't say it out loud. I just thought it. Uh, so how you how do you feel? You've got sort of two out of ten, I'd say roughly. It's an amazing success rate, Richard, and incredible. And who do you think will win the snooker today? I the lead. The snooker will be done by me too. Who will win by three points? Just three clear points. Ooh, let what I have said. No, let no man put us under. Who do you think is going to die next Tuesday and have the arena named after them? I think Taddy McGuinness will die next Tuesday. Well, let's see if that comes true. Fingers crossed. Uh, I, I'm talking about the uh, the, the uh, stadium name. Uh, Traian Stanescu's family got in touch to say they felt I was mispronouncing the name of uh, of the uh, of Traian. Stinescu and therefore did not want the arena named after him. So we will name instead uh, the arena is named this week after uh, darts player Mike Gregory. I mean, I think darts is the closest you can get to uh, self-playing snooker. I'm sure a lot of the darts players play me one versus me two darts. I certainly did a lot of that in my time. Um, and Mike Seward Gregory was quite a character. He was, his nickname was the Quiet Man of Darts. Very much the normal man, the quiet man of darts. Uh, he was born on the 16th of December 1956 in Bath in Somerset. His the his walk on music was the Combine Harvester by the Wurzels. Uh, so hopefully that will be sung in a minor key at his funeral. Where be that blackbird on its own? I've got a brand new Combine Harvester. It's, there's no point in giving you the key now. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late. You are d- dead now. Uh, he's dead. He's a quiet man. He's a very much the quiet man of darts now. 65 years young. And, um, of course, probably best known for win, reaching the final of the Win Mao World Masters twice and also reached the final of the Embassy World Darts Championship in 1992, losing to Phil Taylor, if my memory serves me right, a match regarded amongst the greatest matches ever played. Of, uh, so he's very much uh, someone who comes second, so uh, me one should identify with him, the, the normal man and the quiet man of darts. Mike Gregory, darts player, he's gone. 
sorry to break it to you. Um, I can't remember what uh, Sybil said now. Would she say me two by three points? So that's worth putting a bet on. Um, you can predict the channel points uh, in the live stream if you're watching live. Hundred. Look, that's 118 people here. That's incredible numbers. Um, let's get talking to the to the players. Oh yes, three points. Me too. Okay, you've said it once. I predict the tiger appear again this episode. Yeah, you come on later. No, it's not the big thing. Um, let's talk to last week's loser. Me one, I can see is just sitting down. Um, it was quite a frame. I can't remember. Oh, I was thinking the week before was quite a frame. What was that? What happened last week? Thirty six fifty three. Can you remember what happened last week, me one? I don't really remember what happened last week. I think I lost 36-53, but I have no memory of it beyond that. I was more into the football scores, um, and uh, I'm confident that I could come back this. this. I think I need to win this week. Uh, if I can be the first to 70, I think I've got a chance of, of, of pulling this thing back. And the law of averages says yeah, that I have to win some. It's just kind of crazy. You know, I was unlucky the week before. Well, it's not really about luck, is it? It's about... And anyway, I am ahead. I'm taking a leaf out of my hero Boris Johnson's book, and uh, I'm just gonna say what I want to be the case. I'm actually sixty nine, sixty one ahead. So, uh, and it's false news. Anyone who's saying anything different, so um, I don't have to worry. I'm already winning, but I will win today as well. Well, you can't just lie. Well, that's whatever you can. That's what you can do now. You just lie. You just refuse to bend or or admit defeat or admit any culpability or wrongness in your life and you'll be fine no one can do anything about it okay i'm very keen to get on with the the match let's see how me too's feeling you're sitting down now yeah hello richard it's me too uh, i'm very tired i'm tired like you are as well so I, I i just like i say let's get on with it um i'm very much the uh the i'm one of the cat you know like i'm the if i was darts i'd be one of the real character guys um like the one with like punk hair he had pink hair or something i'd be that one or the viking be him um sorry to hear about mike gregory good good guy i, I guess um i understand there is some uh two player snooker going on currently i had looked at the bbc website and they're covering it they're not covering self-playing snooker still i'm disgusted by uh the bbc for their absolute bias against this sport this is the original sport this is the sport you should all be watching have I done everything I meant to do? Let's. Why don't we go and do the um, the game with commentator one, commentator two in the Mike Gregory arena? We could be, we could be out of here by half past eight if we play our cards right. Um, th a prediction of me two winning by three points. What do you think? Come on. Well, Richard, that will be interesting to see if that comes true. I can see a little Prince Andrew sitting there. He's always watching the game. Um, and uh, Richard's too modest to say, but I should say that. Um, Twitch of Fun returns on Thursday night. Series 3 has been uh, commissioned, given the green light. We'll see which characters make it through. The executives at the top of Twitch have uh, taken the axe to the roster. We'll see which characters make it through. But uh, do tune in on Thursday night to see that live. And um, Commentator 2 joins me in the uh, commentary box. How are you doing, Commentator 2? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Uh, any predictions for tonight? Well, you know, it's really impossible to say, isn't it? Because it's one man playing against himself. Um, and thus it's basically just uh, chance. So we'll we'll see. Good. Well, um, I believe Me Too is about to break. Oh, it's quite dark here. Um, the referee one has forgotten to turn on the over. Maybe you forgot to put the 50p in to turn the lights on. There they go. They're on now. Maybe that's made things a bit better. And... Me too, I think it was, I said, is breaking. I'm going to just have to check that again. And actually, the table really wonky today. I don't know if you can see the... Uh, the tr it's like on a slope, basically. Uh, when, I, when referee one did the triangle, it uh, just went really weird like that. So we'll see if that's an advantage for me too, whether he won't go in off. He hasn't gone in off. He hasn't potted anything yet. Oh, came close. It's nil-nil, unusual at this stage. Me one. Oh. Nearly pots the black. I think he was trying to get that cue ball up the... There's some dead wasps on the floor down here. Me too. He's going to try and get this up there. Oh, that's what that's what me one was trying to do. Just in mirror image. And me too has... 
He's going for the pink center pocket. Can he do it? Oh my goodness. I didn't even think he could have hit the pink. That's why he's the professional snooker player. And I'm just up here, the ordinary Joe in the commentary box. A break of seven already. And it looks like this could be a clearance. Oh, unlucky there. So a break of uh, seven points to me too. And it's looking good for his 70th win. Me one really needs to pull something out the bag here. That wasn't bad. That was a pretty nice shot. He's pulled it back. Is he on the black? He is. This could be the highest break of the frame. It is. And, and, and this, could, this could be a table clearance right here. He's pulled that back nicely. He's on another red. This could be an incredible three ball break. It is. And look at that. He's nudged the black. He's, this, this is professional play here from me one. He is in serious. Look at that, his four ball break. I think he's realized that the black ball would block him to the top there. So he's going to, for ball number five into the center pocket. Oh, it hits the post and bounces out. Incredible though, a break of 16 for me one. One of the highest breaks we've ever seen here at the Mike Gregory Arena. In fact, the highest we've ever seen at the Mike Gregory Arena. Me too. Yeah, didn't have any power on that. He couldn't, he was too close to it. Me one. Didn't really get down to look at that. I think he just thought he was invincible after the break of 16. Me too. That's no good either. But me one, this could be his way back in. Oh, he's actually cut that too far the other way. It hasn't gone in. And the, the you can see how bad the table is today. The board, sorry. Me too. Doesn't know what to do. Me one. Oh, that, I like what he was thinking there. Didn't cup, didn't pay off for him. Me too. What's happened to the board? Me too. Put pots. Beautiful red into the top pocket. He's on the pink. There's some high breaks here. Regardless, so look at that. This could be over by Christmas, this frame. Another break of seven for me. Two at least. Can he make it eight? He can, and he does, and he will. He's decided to go for the blue. Oh, fucks that up. He maybe should have gone for the. Maybe should have gone for the yellow. It was an easier shot. Break of eight though, and this is incredible. Calculating, calculating. Me one sixteen. Me two fifteen. No errors so far. That's just pure pot skill. And me one pots another one. Can he get another two ball break? He can, he's potted the blue. Hasn't really, he might struggle here to hit anything else in, but the, the fans must be going wild. Oh, me one, I don't know how he did it, but he potted in one of those reds into the bottom right left hand pocket. He's on a four ball break here. Can he get this black? It's a very acute angle. Yeah, he can't do it. He's gone in off. Oh. So a break of seven to me one, but he also gives away seven. So it's just one point between these two players. Three reds left on the, the old green board. Me too. Can he pot this red and equalize? Yes, he can. The potting is a phenomenal today. Can't do the black. Can he get the blue? Oh, he hits it straight, but just too straight. But he's equalized after we've all we've been through. It's 23 all. Me one. Manages to hit a red. Me two sees an opportunity, I think. Oh, he's missed it. I think he's got lucky. I don't think there's much me, me one can do here. Oh, that was a bit of a push, surely, but he's got away with it. Me two. Oh, what a shot. What, there's been some amazing shots there. That looked, that defied mathematics. And he's got another two ball break. It's a green, if you're listening to the audio, as a thousand people do every week. He's got another three ball break. Me too, well into the lead now. What will he go for? He's going for the yellow. Can't get a deflection, no. Uh, 
absolutely no idea what he potted there. Was it the red and the... Was it a red and a green? Was it a four? Five, according to Andy McH. Oh, yeah, because he got yeah, red and green and a red. All right. Me one. This is close. Sybil was right about that. Me one has potted the yellow. This is just phenomenal play. Oh, slightly impeded by the shelf here. Oh, still pots the green. He's not going to go in off. Oh, he doesn't go in off. Me one could clear up here. Oh, he doesn't get the easy one, does he? No. Doesn't get the, or does he? No, he doesn't get the easy one. But he's equalised. It's as close as two things that are touching. Me too. Should get this brown. He's missed it somehow. Worried about following in, I think. There's been no errors so far, has there? I don't want to jinx anyone. Me one doesn't pot the brown. Me two. Oh, there was one in off, wasn't there? Yes. Me one. Oh, and he's missed. Me one's missed. That could be a that could be crucial. Trying to just get the brown in there. And Instead of getting four points, he's given four points away. Me too. Me one. He needs this brown to equalise. And he's hit it too straight. Has he? Oh, oh, oh. Me too. Could clear up here. This could be the end. Me too. Pots the brown. Oh, he's, got, he's not got a great position on the blue. I think he could still get it. He hasn't got it. He's got four points. This is so exciting. This is why we pay our TV licence. Me too. Is he eight points clear? 27.36 according to, I've got 28.36, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, me one. <sighs> Misses an easy blue. Me too. Maybe snookered here. This is a dangerous snooker. Will he hit the black or the blue? He's hit the blue. Has he got his own snooker? Might have done. Yes, he has. Beautifully done. Me one. Gets out of it. Nearly pots it. The board very much slanted this way. Me two. Pots the blue. Me two. Oh, I was going to say pots the pink, but he doesn't. But I think it's all over now. I've got 41 plays, 28. Um... That is a difference of 13. Me one. There's 13 on the board. Me one nearly gets the pink. Has he got a snooker? An incredible snooker from me one. He needs it. But, oh, me two. That is class. That is why this man is on 70 frames. Does not matter. Does not matter what uh, about the black. I make it 47 plays 28. It's not three points. It's 19 points. It's me too. He's all over it. It's another win for the very, very strong breeze in this embarrassing one-sided contest. Incredible pink. Um... And Sybil, once again, completely vindicated. You might say, well, she said three points, and that's 19 points. I say, fuck you. I say, fuck you. Up the arse. You fucking prick. That doll predicted that score. And you look stupid for even questioning it. Back to Richard in the studio. Thank you. Well, good. Good stuff there. Thank you to uh, the players. Uh, you know, I'm sorry that Me Too keeps winning. If I had any control over it, I would try and make it more interesting. Uh, alas, I have no control over it. The players play. I just watch. I sit back and watch. Fascinated as anyone. Oh, Fulham 2 nil up. Liverpool 2 nil up. Those are two good teams. Um, shouldn't be giving you the scores now, but I'm just too excited. Hold up there, into the next Caledonian Thistle, still 1-1 one, one with Queen of the South. That's the big match for me. Uh, most of the other scores. Linfield have scored a goal. Inter, Inter, DC Milan have scored a goal. 
Freeburg got three goals. Hamburg have got one goal. It's all happening in the foreign lands. Um, amazing snooker. I don't. There's not much I can say. Mike Gregory would be proud to. He, he's up in heaven, being very quiet right now. Um, 65 years old, just 10 years older than me. Will I get that far? Let's talk to me one, the losing player. How are you feeling? I'm feeling upset, Richard. Um, I feel uh, that it was, it was within my grasp and somehow it was taken out of my grasp. Could have got a draw. Thanks to uh, Scar1972, just subscribed for 23 months. That's very nice of you. Um, and uh, I'm going to come back next week bigger, stronger, better. Uh, see if I can be the first to... 71 if I win the next 10 frames in a row that's my that's my plan very disappointing me too I mean it's not really I don't really get much pleasure from it anymore it's just, just so obvious that I'm going to win um yeah thanks for the to the fans sorry it's so boring sorry I'm so good there were some good breaks in there we really should have a look at this board because uh you know it's it's basically slanting it's basically like that I know that's part of the sport, but um, maybe we need to make it flatter so me one can have a chance. He's not skillful enough to play on this kind of surface. Good, and over to uh, Sybil. How are you feeling? Richard, everything I said came true. Watch out, Tad in the Guinness. Watch out, they're coming for you. They're coming for you. Ooh. Well, Paddy McGuinness living on borrowed time. Um, but at least he knows if he can die on next Tuesday... I guarantee I will name, unless someone really famous also dies on that day, I will name the arena after Paddy Mignes. I might do it anyway, just fingers crossed, you know, every week. Um, well, I hope something can happen to make this a more interesting contest. It's just pulling away, pulling away, pulling away. Um, that's, is that three in a row for me too, or four in a row? Three, one, two, sixty-one, four in a row. Embarrassing. So uh, if I was civil, I'd just say me too every week and you'd nearly always be right. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. Finished by 2027. 20, That's what I consider a good work stay. Remember, I get uh, £500,000 for every episode of this I do. So if I can get it in under half an hour, um, that's the sponsorship money. We're waiting for it from uh, Jurex. They promised us more. They didn't pay for the... Uh, for the for the tournament, they said they would pay for this instead of five hundred thousand pounds an episode, and it all goes to me. Um, there's actually no costs, and I'm not sharing it with anyone else. Uh, yeah, Twitch of fun back on Thursday. Uh, might be a low key one. Probably won't have done much. I thought I might write some sketches and stuff and film some stuff. But yeah, I haven't. Uh, and um, just back to basics. Uh, We've got a secret Rahalastapa coming out tomorrow. If you're a badger, you might know who it is already, but a surprise transatlantic Rahalastapa coming out tomorrow. Brilliant book club on Friday with the brilliant Francesca Stavrakapulu. Um, and uh, hopefully uh, next week on the book club, Rachel Paris, and next week on Rahalastapa, I believe it's Jamie Dimitriou. So um, tune in for those. Keep listening to those. Keep watching those. Become a badger. Do all that shit. 2028. Go and raid someone. Have a nice time. Will the king of the universe be there? Who knows? I don't know. Uh, see you next time. From me and all the me's. Goodbye, my finest friends.